Hello friends, welcome to lesson 3 of the starter kit series. Today we are going to cover the login and logout feature. We are going to create a layout file and add an app bar. And of course create the login page. Make some of our routes protected by creating a protected routes component. And then finally logging out. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I have already created a login feature branch. And I am running npm run dev. And of course, my end host backend is running. I just ran the command end host dev. Okay, so let's first get into the layout. All you need to do is create a dollar layout dot svelte file, and this gives us a slot. I mean, you need to create a slot so that the page renders. So first, svelte will go inside here the layout file, and then render what it's inside here and then it goes to the page component so here we can create our nav bar i actually have a nav bar created and i'm going to just paste it here so basically i created the anchor tag for home about profile register and login that's it basically and finally we have the slot yeah so let's check that out how it is yeah this is how it is nice right um i'm going to since this is all at the top i'm going to add some padding uh to okay we we don't have login route yet but we do have register route but add some padding to this so let's do that i'm going to do main and move this top and here we can add styles style and we can use the main tag and adding a padding of i'm going to do one rem yeah, let's see how it looks. Maybe I have to restart the server. Restart. And give it a refresh. Nice. Okay, so we have some padding. Um, so what we'll do next is, so the first part is done. Let's create a login page. Yeah, I'm going to duplicate the register page because it's the same thing. Uh, without, of course, the name field. Login dot thread. I'm going to rename this function to submit. Remove the name. So in login, nhost provides us the login function, which uses the email and password. And that is it, basically. So now we are logged in. When this is successful, I want to go to the profile page. Okay. So in Swell create, um, it provides a go to function uh, which we can easily navigate to a different page yeah so that's that let's remove this name mm. let's rename this to submit yeah it looks better i think let's do the same for the register function as well change this to submit submit here okay okay the login is done so uh, let's also create a profile page because we are redirecting to the profile page so routes new file profile dot swelled let's put a h1 tag and see profile page okay okay let's try this out i've already created uh, the user with my email and password you can see it right here let's log in let's go to the network tab and see okay the request went and we got a response we have the jwt token refresh token and user details the display name and the email and the id okay so we are in the profile page but um, we don't have to be authenticated to visit this page um, so that's not what we want. So we want to protect this route. To protect this route, I'm going to create a component called protected route, which will wrap this, uh, which will wrap this uh, com page component. Okay. So let's do that. I'm going to create a file in source lib directory the lib directory was not previously there i just created it and i'm going to go protected 
route.swept. Okay, um, let's import the protected route component from here. Script and import protected route from we can do dot lib and the name of the um, component. So dot lib is this component, uh, this path, uh, this directory itself. Uh, you can actually add and change this uh, to some other name if you want. Uh, you can do that in self kit config. Okay, uh, so let's finish our protected route. So what we want to do in the protected route is if uh, on mount, uh, we we want to check first if the user is authenticated. So I'm going to use the on mount hook provided by its health kit. And I'm going to verify if the user is authenticated. In, ho in N host, we have um, in N host, we have a function called is authenticated async. I'm going to use the async one and get const is oh, okay um, i'm going to put that okay so first what we let's do some html part i will have a variable called let is loading i'm going to set it to true because so when we are coming to this page i'm going to set the is loading true and if if is loading is true i'm going to render a loading text yeah so paragraph loading and put the colon and else and if there is uh if it is not loading i want to render the page um, so for this we need to use a slot okay and end the if tag yeah, it's quite weird, the if and else, uh, but yeah, this is the syntax of writing a if and else, if condition in Swift. So what we are going to do is, is loading is true, we are going to render a loading text, and if it is not, we are going to render the page, okay? Um, and let's use, put a const is authenticated, okay, turn since this is a async function, we want to await this and we have to make this an async function. Okay, so if is authenticated, what we are going to do is make is loading false so that the slot or the page gets rendered, else we are going to redirect back to the login page. Yeah. Easy enough. We set it to is loading so that this mounts, we are showing the loading text. We are getting if the user is authenticated. If it is authenticated, then we are going to set the is loading to false so that the page renders. Else, that means the user is logged down, we are going to go to the login page easy enough right okay let's go to our profile page and see this in action okay resolved okay let's the automatic mount didn't work and i'm not sure okay we are in protect route we'll go up and go to Utils and end most. Yeah? Yeah. There we are. Okay, so everything is working now. So if we if I refresh, you will see the loading for a bit and then the profile page. So that is because when loading, when I refresh, we have to get uh the is authenticated back, wait until it's back, and then decide to show the content. Okay. Uh let's put a logout button and finish this lesson off. So we go to profile, we can have a button or we can have a form. I think it's good to have a form, I believe. 
but for now i'm going to have an inline function um so if we click it i want to use opt uh, log out i want to log out the user and i'm not sure if this works and put this and out okay i'm going to log out that's not the only thing i want to do i want to go to the home direct let's go to the home page when he logs out oh we have to wait i can't do this i have to wait until the logout request has been completed okay and then go to the home page okay let's take it out yeah there we are if you try to go here it gets redirected back to the login page nice right so uh, me clicking the profile page doesn't work i go home about everything else is working nicely okay so that covers the login and logout so we created a layout file added our nav bar created the login page and we also have a protected route now so whenever we need a route that needs to be protected all we have to do is pass in i mean wrap that page component with this component that's it all right as you know endnote made it really easy to do all that let's commit login and a log feature and push this okay push oops push okay so that covers this lesson uh, i'll hope have a wonderful day and i'll see you on the next one thanks